Good evening. This is one of our special events for Black History Month, which is part of the Word Up program. We are delighted, excited, and very pleased to be able to have an actor of rare distinction, Earl Cameron. I look at television sometime and I see they bring the stars all and they pour glory on their stars. And I know Earl has been with all the big stars in his film roles, 10 leading roles, 40 films, and the rest I will tell you about. It's the first time I've been assured, London, that I haven't been glad to get back to see rather than have colored blood in his face. Let's suspend our man here, not as much sky as remember, but he gave me the welcome opportunity to work with an actor whom I had long admired and who I am honored to call a good friend, Earl Cameron. I am proud to say that A Warm December was one of the first films which showed black people as people and not as stereotypes. And Earl was perfect in the film. As I First of all, thank you for such a big build-up. You deserve it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I came to England during the war. 1939, about six weeks after the war started. I loved London from the beginning, I might say, but I might say also that I met with an awful lot of racial prejudice, which was a great experience for me. That, that, that has been the, one of the best things that could have happened. I'm from a very small island called Bermuda. It's a gentle little island, really. And coming to London and meeting with this blatant form of racial is socially, if you had money in your pocket, you can do whatever you like. You can go wherever you like. But if you were looking for a job, mm -hmm. oh my God, I arrived in September, uh, October 1926, and the first job I got was March of the following year, and that was the type of job I wouldn't have taken in Bermuda, for certain. Dishwasher's job. Mm. Anyhow, I think I deserved something a little better than that. And to go back out of the hospital to face the world again, worried about having lost my job at the Charing Cross Hotel, it wasn't very appealing to me, so I had come to the point that I really didn't want to live. Well, what made you decide to become an actor? Yeah, a couple of tickets to see a show called Chu Chin Chow. So I um, went to see the show, went backstage to thank Harry, and he said, uh, I said, Harry, can yeah. you get me on the show? He says, come on, Earl, don't be ridiculous. It, it, it doesn't happen. There were six black guys in the show, and I thought I can do whatever they're doing. Walking on, but just walk his cars. You know. Three weeks later, he came to me. He said, Earl, your big chance is coming. He took me to the Palace Theatre. director, a man named Robert Atkins, who was well-known director at the time, was standing outside the stage door. And he looked me up and down. He said, yeah, I guess you'll do it, Harry. <laughs> just like that, believe it or not. A matter of about 45 minutes after that, I was on stage. <laughs> My knees were buckling, <laughs> sweat pouring down, all I could see a bunch of faces out in front. They didn't um, cast black actors in those days in Shakespeare and Rules. It's true that Paul Rosen, if you've heard of him, played Othello. Uh, before the war, he was a great Othello indeed. So I were always would play Othello, Macbeth, even Hamlet, King Lear, all the great Shakespearean roles he was noted for. And at the time, he was the greatest. In fact, he died in Poland, where they had a state funeral for him. He was, in fact, a, a great friend of Alexander Dumas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who you know was black, of course. Yes, yes indeed. Oh yeah. So, uh, you know, the, in the history of, of um, 
theatre, art and everything. Black people have played one uh, tremendous parts. <laughs> well, I'll just do a little excerpt from Othello. <laughs> I took by the circumcised dog and smite him! Thus! I kill thee. If I kiss thee. No one but this. Killing myself to die upon a kiss. <laughs> Hello, Cameron. Well, you're, you're trying to see.